I'm a book girl, okay? Hello and welcome. God first. Um, I guess I'll just kind of jump right into why I'm here. I love books. Watch that my husband gave me for Valentine's. But anyways, oh, um, so this hair is from Eunice. Eunice, Eunice. You want to be involved. My cat wants to be involved. But it's late. Come on, you want to come up here? You want to be involved? And you match me anyway. Like your hair matches, like my hair matches your fur. Come on. Uh, uh. <laughs> Hi, pretty girl. Hi, pretty girl. Let's get the camera. And this is Lucy. She's my four year old. I'm only four. Going on five. Four years old, going on five. Domestic long hair cat. <laughs> At first, you know, thought she was a Maine Coon. Somebody else thought she was like a ragamuffin. A sweet girl. Um, Norwegian forest cat's probably in the mix somewhere. I don't know. I don't know. I just know she's a beautiful girl and she's very sweet and loving. Right, Lucy? Right, mommy? Yes. She's a very sweet girl. Do you want to be with me to introduce my first book? Yes, you were in the video the last time. So my first book is the Bible. <laughs> I've always had a Bible. I grew up in the church and stuff like that. But this specific Bible is like my kind of travel Bible. It's small, you know, you can take it anywhere. It's very slim. Um, it's the whole Bible, Old and New Testament. It's a new international version. I like to take this with me whenever I'm doing my devotion, um, stuff like that. I like that it also has like this little magnetic clip, okay? Um, keeps it nice and tight. Um, it also has the words of the Lord, like Jesus, um, written in red. So the words of Jesus are written in red. I don't know if it's gonna focus there, but um, you know, I like that because it makes me feel connected, especially to the word of the Lord. Amen, Lucy, don't you feel that way too? Lord, especially when I see like, like the words highlighted. This is always a great book for anyone to carry around. So many of the principles in this book apply to real life. Um, and so, yeah. Right, Lucy? You like the Bible? Good girl, good girl. All right, the next book I'm gonna talk about is this one, it's called The Insights You Need from Harvard Business Review, highlighting the tech of 2023. Cool, right, Lucy? Yes, mama. <laughs> what a loving little post. I don't know how she really likes my lip combo. But yeah, um, this book is pretty cool. If you're into stuff like crypto, you're into NFTs, like upcoming tech, the business world is heading where technology is concerned, spe specifically, pardon my language. Um, this is a great book. I picked this one up in the airport and I've been kind of going through it to see I have my bookmark in there. But yeah, so this is a good one. Uh, the third one. Is this okay? So we'll be referring to personal journals rather than just this specific one. This one is one I picked up in Coach. Um, take a closer peek at it. Uh, it has a, a journal inside, but it's actually a leather uh, journal sleeve, a leather sleeve. And what I like about it is that, you know, when I'm finished writing with this journal, I can always take the book out and replace it with another one. So I don't know if it's it's because I have the cat in my hand. And then I have this little magnetic bookmarker here. You are here. But yeah. Oh, and she's gone. Uh, but yeah, so this one is a nice one I picked up out of coach. It's always nice to have a personal journal. Jot your ideas down. Kind of keep things on track so you don't forget. You know what I mean? 
You can never have enough journals. You can never have one too many of these because ideas are always going to keep flowing and coming as long as God lives <laughs> or as long as God allows us to live. We'll always have ideas. There'll always be something that we could write down. Sometimes ideas that are written down actually lead to something, you know? Um, so yeah, start with a book. Okay. How many books am I talking about today? Oh, so I wasn't going to actually talk about this one. I was actually leaving this one um, like a part two. But since I was here with Lucy and we picked it out, I guess this will be the bonus book. But the next one I want to talk about. This one. Okay, so this one I also picked up in the airport. Um, this refers to the future of medicine. This is by the Time magazine. This is a special edition. I like magazines. Oh, they always have like these pretty flashy covers so slim and easy to like concise basically um with all this information in it about different things you know um so i always like uh, magazines pick them up um skip through them the reason why i'm highlighting this one in this video is because I love science, I'm a science kid, and I'm also a doctor, so I'm always looking to see what the future of medicine is, where the future of medicine is, where it's progressing to, to look out for stuff like that. I also like technology. Um, technology and science is definitely coming hand in hand a lot lately. The future is technology and the future is information, so this is a cool one. And then, this one, this one is like pretty cool, it's pretty special. So this is a book I picked up um, from a bookstore called The Eclectic Reader. That store specialized in used, uh, rare, and out of print books. Is Impressionist Cats and Dogs. Actually when I was cashing out, the lady said to me that she frequently goes through this book because um, she likes art and she likes cats and dogs. And I think we can relate on that. What I really like about this book, oh, they put their card in it. Ooh. It's essentially this book, you know, it just has some pretty paintings in it. At the same time, it tells a story, you know, of the paintings, the stories behind the paintings. So for example, this hair is back to the time of Charles Darwin. So, but yeah, yeah, it's pretty cool. So that's it. I guess that's it on the books I selected. You know, brief introduction. I hope you enjoy this video. It's so random. Something I really, really love, you know, books. There's always so much you can learn from books. There's always, it's just like a wealth of knowledge at your fingertips, literally. And I mean, you know, we're heading into the days of technology where everything is still at our fingertips, um, but it's different. It's different with an actual book. I don't know what else to say. But this was cool.